Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Kavanaugh rioters busted in huge scam right before storming hearing. Witness recorded it all. The confirmation hearings for President Donald Trump's most recent Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh have started off with the usual antics from the self-proclaimed resistance. 73 protesters have now been arrested after interrupting the confirmation hearings, according to U.S. Capitol Police. One of those arrested was Linda Sarsour, co-founder of the Women's March and self-proclaimed activist. Sarsour previously called for jihad against President Trump while speaking at the Islamic Society of North America ISNA, convention in Chicago. Interestingly enough, Sarsour's mentor Imam Wahaj is the father of one of the suspects in the Muslim extremist compound recently arrested by the FBI in New Mexico. Sarsour herself is a supporter of the BDS movement against Israel and openly supports the adoption of Sharia law in the United States. She also is a somewhat frequent MSNBC guest and has appeared on The Rachel Maddow Show. Chaos erupted within minutes Tuesday morning as the hearings got underway and hecklers interrupted with loud shrieking. The hearing itself began on a contentious note when Democratic senators began interrupting Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, Arya, one after another intent on demanding the hearings be adjourned. Senator Kamala Harris, DCA, led the charge as the first to interrupt stating, we cannot possibly move forward. Grassley responded by telling Harris she was out of order. Senator Amy Klobuchar, DMN, followed shortly behind Harrison interrupting with demands that the confirmation hearings be adjourned. Protesters then erupted in the gallery. Senator Cory Booker, DNJ, then demanded to know what is the rush? To confirm Kavanaugh amid catcalls and shrieking from protesters, claiming that Republicans were attempting to hide something amid the largest document release in the entire history of the United States Supreme Court. What are we trying to hide? Why are we rushing? Asked Senator Patrick Leahy, DVT. To which Grassley responded, I think if I answer those questions it is going to fit into the effort of the minority to continue to obstruct, and I don't think that that's fair to our judge. Democrats publicly derided the Trump administration, slamming them for a lack of transparency for refusing to release thousands of documents in relation to Kavanaugh after attorneys for the George W. Bush administration claimed approximately 27,000 records would be off-limits due to constitutional privilege. Yet the Senate Judiciary Committee stated in a Saturday press release that they had expanded access to confidential material beyond that for any other Supreme Court nominee in an effort for transparency. Now several doctors have also come forward after attending the confirmation hearings for Kavanaugh stating they witnessed organized activists being paid in literal bags of cash to cause trouble both in the hearing and in the line to get inside. Author and commentator Adam W. Schindler interviewed three doctors who traveled from Texas to Washington, D.C., to attend the hearings and spoke of what they saw. Transcript is quoted in Real Clear Politics. Adam W. Schindler, we are here in the line for the public tickets at the Supreme Court hearing in Washington, D.C. Day 1. There has been a little bit of chaos here, some interesting things were going on on the line. These are not random protests, and we've got some eyewitnesses here to tell you what happened in line this morning in D.C. Tom Schlitter, Texas, Hello, I'm Dr. Tom Schlitter from Texas, we came here to participate in the hearings, to get in the line. They told us to be here at 8 o'clock, 8.30 at the latest, to get in line to go inside and hear the hearings. We got here at about 8.15 and there was already 100 people in line, and most of them would be probably classified by me as opposing everything going on with Judge Kavanaugh, and so we began to see a process of things unfolding as we were standing in line that kept the line from going ahead. One thing was there were people who had come along, who had a bag of money, and people would hand them a piece of paper, and then they would give them money. So we know money was exchanged for some of the people to be here, just to protest. There was no depth to what their understanding, they were just here to be a disruption, protesters. They were actually told, we heard them say this, when you go in, we want you to yell, to scream, and even possibly to get arrested. So that was some of the processes we saw happening. Dr. Chris Dundas, Corpus Christi, hey guys, I'm Dr. Chris Dundas from Corpus Christi in Texas, we're up here for these hearings. I gotta tell you, it was very sad. This is a very time-honored institution in the past, and these young people, mostly young people, but some old people, they seem to have no heartfelt convictions about why they are here. If you have to pay somebody to protest, that's a good tell. Being arrested and being proud of it. Some women came back from these hearings and they seem disappointed they were not arrested. Dr. Burton Purvis, Arlington, good afternoon, I'm Dr. Morton Purvis from Arlington. This experience I shared with these other three guys was quite an enlightening one. 
I took off my credentials and walked among the people to get more information and be more acceptable to those around us. It was quite interesting as we listened to their attitudes and actions about why they were here and what they wanted to do. The most telling thing was listening to them giving names and addresses, so when they were arrested, they were keeping a record and celebrating who got arrested, without any regard for any open discussion or even the possibility of being convinced of anything, it was just for the purpose of disruption and to have some kind of disruption of the process. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.